Hello and welcome back. This time I wanted to um, present to you the latest project that I've been working on which is the Modbus protocol. It's perhaps one of the most widely used uh, serial communication protocols. There are almost all brands of controllers or devices still use Modbus Sometimes they use it over TCP IP, but there's still Modbus. And there's still wide support for Modbus serial ports like variable frequency drives, uh, temperature controllers, actuators, everything. Um, because it still has a lot of potential and it's open source. It's so open source that there are even libraries for Arduino. So in this case, I use one of those libraries. It's called Simple Modbus Slave that I downloaded as open source and wrote down based on that, on the example, my own uh, sketch. So I'm using uh, LED pin 9 as a uh, analog pulse width modulating output. So this LED here is connected to pin 9 right here and also I'm using uh, input analog input A0 which is right here this is the the white wire here that goes to this potentiometer um, as a also as an uh, as a an element that I want to visualize. So right here it's a TTL to RS485 converter and then I run just two wires which are A and B into a USB to RS485 converter. So this here is COM port number three. And here's a simple schematics of the setup. This is the PWM output connected to an LED. This is the analog input connected to a potentiometer to A0. And I'm using the serial port on the Arduino to interface with um, the MAX485, which is a TTL, 5 volts, to RS485, uh, recommended standard, RS stands for recommended standard, which was created long, I mean decades ago, it's still in use. So, and also, but this uh, converter requires something called um, handshake control, that is data flow. So this isn't a slave. And the laptop is going to behave as a master on the bus. So um, you want a way to not being always transmitting. So this pin here, this two pins request uh, and data transmit request and data enable uh, both are I think this is uh, normally uh, low so when you're transmitting you enable this for a transmission so here up here you get this define text enable pin as number two so pin number two which is this brown cable here that I'm holding goes into R, E, and D, E on the TTL to RS-45 converter. Then you get the normal A and B um, <coughs> uh, RS-45 wires. You can probably use sealed uh, wire for longer communications. So you you can stay, you can create a a network of devices and then control them with your 
uh, laptop and then select which device you want to control. So this sketch is loaded into the Arduino and um, I'm using as usual Modbus Master as a means of communicating. So in this example I'm reading holding registers for 40,001 and 40,002 as two uh, registers that I want to read or write from. So I'm reading the potentiometer on registers, register 40,001, which is a value between, um, well, 0 and 123, which is uh, 10 bits of um, the, of the resolution of the analog input. So this is what you set up here. Starting with 40,001, you create the first, so this is how you enumerate your registers. The first one is going to be 40,001. 40, the second one is going to be 40,002. So the analog uh, digital converter value on V0 is going to be written to 40,001. So I'm just um, assigning a a banner to it. This is a tag name of 40,001 and this is the tag name of 40,002 which are holding registers. So down below I'm just telling on the, on the loop uh, main function that I'm going to be writing those so this value equals analog output analog input A0 sorry and this is going to be the pulse width modulation taken from uh, hold register uh, PMW value shifted to locations so because that is a 16-bit uh, value I'm shifting it two times so I'm just taking it to a value of 255 I don't want to have a value so large because a pulse width modulating it's in a bit register the Arduino. So uh, it's pretty simple, but here is the uh, the actual mobile master writing into that. So right now the LED it's all bright, but because it's a pulse with motor learn, I can turn it like turning it like all the way to off by setting a uh, duty cycle of zero as soon as I write it. This is going to go off. Let me just click on right here. And got turn off. And I can gradually turn it on. Like if I write 32 on it, it will start to light up slowly. See all the wires are in front of it, will not let me focus it. Right, I can turn it a little bit higher than that, about 64. I'm sorry, click the wrong way here. There, starting to glow brighter, 127, which is halfway the scale, even brighter. So, and the full brightness will be obtained at 255. That is brighter. And also, I can get a value from the potentiometer that I have right here. So, right now, that is on 40,001. I can crank it lower or uh, higher than that as a maximum, and I can go as low as zero. So that's the potentiometer I got right here. So I'm transferring information back and forth between the Arduino and the laptop using uh, RS-485. So, uh, but actually, you can place this like 100 meters away from here and use some industrial uh, field bus wiring and have very um, you can have a lot of immunity to noise and you can like 
uh, install some um, thermocouples and I wanted to do that a long time ago when I wanted to measure the temperature on the <coughs> my solar water here which was installed on the roof of my house but I was unable to get a good reading from the thermocouple with this you can install an array of thermocouples you can actually have you actually have access to uh, five analog inputs so I can place them um, and different you can have diff five different uh, heat exchangers I mean um, heat tanks and the measure throughout the day what the temperature uh, change is and I can also output values and you can even also output um, binary values 16 bits at once um, to something that is um, yards, feet away from where I'm at um, and that because the Modbus has CRC you will be able to detect errors so Modbus has something called cyclic redundancy checks and that that is error correction you can use that to detect if one of the models is not responding one of your slaves is not responding you will be able to in, uh, detect that now this is a Modbus uh, this is a already a sample application but my idea is to use uh, visual Microsoft Visual C um, to create uh, my own application there are, there are open source libraries for Microsoft Visual C that will allow me to create my own uh, interfaces and applications uh, tailor-made for my own needs I can create uh, HMI based on it so this is gonna be like a soft kind of a uh, distributed control system not a PLC in that sense but remote monitoring that's called distributed control system DCS which is commonly used in places where you don't have like high-speed automation but you want to monitor things that are miles away that is DCS that is used probably in um, oil drilling fields and rigs so but this is open source I don't have to pay anything on it because this is open all open source so uh, it's great to be experimenting with it and I'll um, like to uh, Ask uh, here for you, please stay on tune because there's more coming. Uh, once I get my application up and running, I'll show it to you <coughs> so you guys can judge. And please leave comments and thank you for watching.